everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day of the week for all. And today in this video, I'm going to tell you guys a story about how I made a mistake and accidentally forgot to tip a lady who cut my dog's nails. Nails, and I felt kind of bad. So this is a story just to make sure you guys remember to always tip people who run small businesses because... Um, it's just a nice gesture just to give them a little extra tip if they do a good job for you, for you, like, take care of things. Because small businesses don't make a lot of money as the big chains do, so it's always good to support your local businesses and give them a tip. So I made the mistake by accidentally not tipping the lady who trimmed my dog's nails, and I'm going to tell you guys the story. So I'm going to get started. So this all started a couple months ago. I was home... I was at home all day because I, my mom had an appointment scheduled for my dogs to, my animals to get their nails cut. And so the lady comes over around, I think like one or something, and she trims my dog's nails. And then she gets, and then she trims, so she trims Gabby. She always does Gabby first because Gabby's easier for her to trim. Trim because she's very, very, because she's very calm. Mr. Pickles, however, is not very good when he gets his nails trimmed trimmed because he does not like his nails trimmed. I don't trimmed. He doesn't like his feet touch. I don't know why. I mean, he's getting better at it now, but it's like um, he hates his nails trimmed for some strange reason. So she finishes all the dogs and then she's about ready to leave. And I call my mom and told her, oh, the dogs got their nails trimmed. She goes, what about the guinea pig? I'm like, I didn't know she was supposed to do the guinea pig. And she's like, go get her before she leaves. And you paid her. <laughs> her for trimming um the dog nails but not the guinea pig nails go get her i was like okay so i my mom texted me the phone number just in case she leaves but luckily the lady was just right up across the street from my house and so i go to her and i said wait 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 so sorry i forgot to have you trim my guinea pig's nails and she's like okay so the lady comes back in to trim my guinea pig's pig's nails and she finishes it pretty quickly and she even finishes trims a little bit of hair that's kind of like um, in a tangled mess, mess for us. And I was super happy she did that. And so I, once she finishes the guinea pig, I pay her the money, money, and she counts the money and she tells me it's enough for the, um, for all the animals, animals. And I told, and I thank her and I was very grateful that she came back. And so I call my mom, tell her everything got done. And my mom's like, did you give her a tip? I'm like, she didn't tell me she, no, I didn't give her a tip because the money in the envelope gave, she gave, I gave her, um, was enough. And she goes, oh, you should have given her a tip. And I felt kind of bad. And I apologized to my mom for not giving her a tip. She goes, no worries. Next time, just try to remember to give her a tip. So I felt kind of bad. But then the next time she trimmed the nails, I did remember to give her a tip. Tip, which is really good because she is the person that trims my animals' nails is a really good nail trimmer. Trimmer, trimmer. So, the moral of the story is to always make sure you remember to give your local businesses a tip because they don't make a lot of money like the big chains do. So, it's always important to give them a tip for when they do you a favor, like either trim your dog's nails, walk your dogs for a certain amount of hours. And, um, or either if somebody puts a lot of work into a project they're making making. So it's always good to give them just a small t extra tip. So then you show that you want to support their business. So I would felt kind of bad that I forgot to give this lady a tip. But the next time she trimmed my animals nails, I remembered to give her a tip. So just always make sure you tip people ahead of time. So that was a story about how I accidentally forgot to tip a lady for trimming my animals nails. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week for all, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!